Hello and welcome to another episode of Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We are looking at the week of February the 15th to the 21st, 2021. Before we go into the star signs and we're still in Aquarius, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead. <clears throat> like I said, we're looking at the week of February the 15th to the 21st. Let's see what the guides have got. Okay, the overall energy, we have the elephant and the cow. What that tells us is that the energy for this week is very much about reflecting, about acknowledging the good sides and the good sides only, and looking at memories that we have that trigger either upset or sadness in us, let them come up, release them, and then let bygones be bygones. This is a week for all of us to look into our kinder side, into our kindness, and allow ourselves to reflect on what has happened in our lifetimes, in our respective lifetimes. And whatever is there that cannot be changed, um, to let that go. Right? Short and sweet for the overall energy for the week ahead. Now we're going into the very first star sign, which is Aquarius. Aquarius this week, again, reflection was just the topic for the overall energy. Here's another thing that has to do with reflection for uh, Aquarians this week. Think about your flesh and blood family members. And I'm feeling what happens is that a lot of you who are in this are, are and I feel this is more for the people that are Aquarians that are not with their family members, because the guides are doing this, which means it is removed somehow, which obviously in the pandemic, very easy for people to be not together, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying to Aquarians is, reflect on your family life and try to find a flow, try to go, okay, whatever is happening, again, it's one of those things where, where things cannot be changed, or you just have to realize that not everybody is like you, even though you're from the same family, if that makes sense. <coughs> so short and sweet for Aquarius, what the Aquarians ask you is to reflect on your life as it is or was inside your family, flesh and blood, your family unit. And what the guides give me is, is not the family you created. This is not about your partner and your children. This is simply about the your parents and the siblings you grew up with. Revisit this and try if you can make peace with areas that didn't work. The peace that they asked me to do is not by reaching out. They, they don't show me any phone calls that need to be done here or you know video calls or anything. <coughs> this is you saying, this has been my life. It is what it is, I acknowledge it, and I go with the flow, right? So, that was Aquarius' second time now, in a way that we had reflection as a topic. And oftentimes we have had that so many times, um, <coughs> excuse me, overlapping energy. So, now go. let's go into the next star sign, which is obviously my star sign, Pisces. Here we go, let's have a look at Pisces. Just drawn to a different deck. For us Pisceans, we have the kid fox and the red wolf. Now, the kid fox is an animal that lives in the desert and feels boxed in at times. The red wolf, also known as the Ethiopian wolf, is an animal that lives in the desert, feels boxed in. So, so obviously, <clears throat> the message is, yes, you might feel, or we might feel, a bit 
boxed in. What that means is our energy might be a little low. If I'm not mistaken, I think Mercury is in retrograde until the 28th of February, if I'm not mistaken, just um, from memory here. Um, <coughs> anyway, one of them is in retrograde again. <laughs> um, that will have an effect on us Pisceans. All the guides are saying is this week, 15th to the 21st of um, February 2021, um, let's not have, let's not make massive changes. As a matter of fact, what the guides give me is make no changes at all. Um, this feels like, again, step back a little, look at things, don't necessarily judge them, and, sounds weird, if there are changes to be made this week, we have to sit them out. It's like, let's not, let's not do anything. And my feeling is, it's because we are quite vulnerable this week. Um, any upset will also be difficult to solve, simply because communication isn't really working so well for Pisces. Okie dokie, that was Pisceans. Can't say I liked it very much, but hey, I only work here and I don't get to choose. <laughs> that was Pisces going into Aries. Let's have a look what we got for Aries. Aries, you got the fish and the puma. What the guides are saying to you is you need to make some space, you need to have some personal, some private space, and you need to find a vantage point from which to see your life and reflect on your life. So reflection is, is there again, but you need to really, hence the fish, swim away, make some space, have some me time this week, and find a different angle from which to look at your personal life. Okay, that was short and sweet. For Aries, I just need to stop this video um, because I think my boy wants to go out. Give me one second, I'll be back. Now, let's look at Taurus. And of course, he didn't go out. <laughs> Let's have a look at Taurus. We're looking at the week of February the 15th to the 21st. <clears throat> Reflection is still the topic here. Looking at Taurians, you have the crow and the osprey. You are still going through quite <laughs> you're still going through quite a lot of change. Your energy is also at times unpredictable. So pay attention to um, anything that triggers you this week because you're very easily triggered this week. But what you ought to be reflecting on is how many things in life you actually achieved. And I think it also will help because they show me writing if you just write things down and they can be what you would probably describe as mundane where you go like oh i made the perfect pudding perfect write that down <clears throat> all the things where you feel like yeah I, I i i i i've done well did that very well i managed this very well write them down and here is also why writing is so important because if you struggle with finding anything that tells you a lot about your self-esteem if that makes sense okay so remember this week Torians, that you are easily triggered so stay away from argumentative situations or people and write down what you feel you have achieved and if you can't find it i guarantee you ask your friends Sometimes these people who are not you see more than you see yourself, give you more credit than you give yourself. So, and that's all we got for Taurians, for Taurus. <clears throat>
going into Gemini. Look what we got for Gemini. Gemini, <clears throat> slightly different because the message for you is, again, reflection, reflection or the reflection part, reflective part is still there. But what the guides are asking you to realize is that you are safe and you need to start taking the stress out of your life by being calmer. The way you react to things is half the battle, right? <clears throat> so the guys are not saying, you know, your life is the best and there is no reason to every now and then, you know, put your foot down, even though I just showed you with my hand, <laughs> right? But how you react to situations and things are very, very important. Okay, short and sweet. You can probably hear in the background that the, the cat is in the litter tray. So let me just stop this again. <laughs> Let's see you in a bit. As you can see, we had to stop the video twice now. So um, <clears throat> normally when this happens while I record, it doesn't mean I shouldn't record a video. In my experience, it means that this is a week where a lot of things happen that we have no control over, right? So let's, let's bear this in mind, going to the next star sign, which is the star sign of Cancer. Cancerians. <clears throat> for the week of February the 15th to the 21st, the uh, message for um, Cancerians is not that you need to reflect, <laughs> but to realize <clears throat> that there's a vulnerability about you. It feels like I'm in the middle of new things, you're in the middle of newer things. Um, maybe new experiences, maybe something where you haven't quite established yourself <clears throat> and so you feel vulnerable um, and what the guides are saying is that's normal that will cease because where you are right now will allow you to that vulnerability for want of a better word will allow you to look around and manifest things that are more you or go for things that you can already see, you know, wherever you are, you just pay attention to things. And if there's anything that takes your fancy there, um, you manifest uh, for having this. Um, to me, this almost uh, feels like we're not talking about relationship at all at the moment. This is all about work. <clears throat> because the new beginnings that they gave me um, really felt like um, this is all new to me. I don't even know who everybody is yet. So this isn't about relationships. Right? If that makes sense. But you have the rabbit hole or the rabbit. And the rabbit has these rabbit holes and everybody, every hole or each hole goes for miles. So what they're saying is, even though you might feel vulnerable now, there's so much more to come, so many more opportunities. Things are actually on the up, even if you don't feel it. Okay? <clears throat> that was Cancerians going into Leo's. Card fells out, fall out. Let's just have a look. No, oh, yet more. <laughs> okay. Again, for Leo, you have we have another rabbit here. So same message applies. New opportunities are coming away, and there's more than one opportunity and more one, more than one option um, to go down. And what the guides are saying to you is. Don't just go for what you feel must be awesome, you know. Um, so if this is about a relationship, oh wow, she is really awesome, he is really awesome. Let, let's forget about this whole awesome thing. <clears throat> because you see things exactly for what they are. So remove yourself a little bit. Get over this, <laughs> I don't know, it's just a word the guys show me. 
get over this being starstruck and assess situations for what they are before you make your decision because right now even though there's opportunities coming your way you're also a touch vulnerable just like we had with cancer um, so are leos uh, quite vulnerable it feels to me that you're not quite as vulnerable as cancerians but vulnerability is still there <coughs> now vulnerability is something that doesn't feel good but when we're vulnerable what happens normally is we stop and we pay attention to things and we look around and we sort of check things out and that's a very very positive and good thing to do as this allows us to assess situations okie dokie that was all we got for leos going into libra here we go The message for Libra <clears throat> this week is to not let anything bother you because communication is really not great. So remember this this week, communication isn't really great. So again, another star sign where the message sort of is sit things out. Um, that doesn't have to be... Um, major discussions, difficult things to handle, if that makes sense. <clears throat> That's not the week for it. Short and sweet for Libra, going into Scorpio. For Scorpios, the message is <clears throat> that opportunities are now ready to come your way. You just have to be open to see them. And what is also important is when there is change coming, um, try to be open-minded and try to be yourself at all times, even if you feel that when you are you, you might not be as good as if you show a persona, but it is really important. Opportunities are coming your way and you will clearly see them as they come to you. <clears throat> be yourself to make things happen. Okay, short and sweet. There was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So we have Sagittarius and Capricorn left, and that, these are the last two star signs <clears throat> for the week ahead. Sagittarians, one of your biggest skills is that you adapt to situations very easily. And all the guides are saying is, it is because you adapt to situations very easily that you also um, can count on being in charge where it matters. If you're not yet in charge where it matters, then maybe you haven't quite made yourself at home in these areas. All the guides are saying is, you're very good at adapting. You're also very, very clever. So things that, that come your way that you need to learn, you will learn them, right? So don't be afraid of putting the work in, so to speak. And um, <clears throat> because you have the grey wolf as your outgoing <coughs> animal guide, really, really important um, to remember this. You, you, you adapt, you see what's going on, and then you will lead the pack, or in other words, you will be in charge of your life. Going into the last star sign of the week, which is Capricorn. Oh, she reminds me of that kid song, kiss song. She's a dancer, a romancer. I'm a Capricorn and she is a Cancer. Anyway, it's got nothing to do with the reading, but every time there's the word Capricorn, that song comes to mind. <laughs> okay. 
or Capricorns, there is another crow, the animal of change and transformation, and you have the dove. What the guys are saying to you is, while you are still going through quite a bit of change, um, while it is still not quite clear um, where you're going and where things are going, that means, or which means that some decisions haven't probably been made, especially stuff that you're waiting on. Um, they show me stuff like, you know, it could be a letter that is still not here, a solicitor that is still not here, uh, an answer that you're expecting, that sort of stuff. While it's still not, not clear what the answers will be, you're still going through changes, regardless of what's coming or not coming. You, the, reason, the reason why you feel a bit flighty and a bit all over the place is because you are uh, very likely in that cycle right now where you want to get things going and want to get things done, if that makes sense. And all the guys are saying is you can easily do this, but you also need to have need to know that divine inspiration, for want of a better word, won't come to you when you're impatient. It'll come. It'll happen. Don't force answers. Don't say, oh, fuck it. I forget about it. I do my own stuff. Um, that's not what the guides want from you this week. What they want from you this week is to realize, yes, I don't have all the answers, but I'm confident. Right? That's all we have time for, for this week. Um, see you all very, very soon. And um, yeah, that's that. Bye-bye.